Have you ever tried to move your computer's mouse and the on-screen cursor just didn't respond right away? It can be frustrating, but it's nothing compared to what surgeons who perform robotic surgeries have to face. Well, now doctors at Florida Hospital are conducting a study trying to stop what could be dangerous delays. Janet Matthews has had two robotic surgeries, one for weight loss, one to remove her gallbladder. It's really exciting to see how far I've come. Her surgeons were just feet away, but what if they were far away? Robotic surgery has been done. At a distance of five or 600 miles. But telesurgery expert Roger Smith says operating for more than 100 miles from a patient is a big challenge because of internet lag. It causes delays between when a surgeon moves his or her hands to when the robot responds. Above a half a second, you see some of them totally fall apart. While doctors can't speed up communication technology, they could adapt to it. Move and pause a second, move and pause a second. Smith is conducting studies with surgeons to help them get used to the lag. Now there's the bleeding. These exercises simulate the delays. If the latency is very high, you sometimes feel frustrated. The more exercises you do, the better you get. Smith says if doctors do adjust their techniques to deal with lag or if telecommunications catch up to surgical robots. The best surgeon in the world could be on call for the most critical cases in the world. A $4 million grant from the Department of Defense is funding Smith's telesurgery study at Florida Hospital. He's still recruiting surgeons along with performing telesurgeries across the U.S. The hope is someday that doctors stateside could perform surgery on wounded warriors in the battlefield hospitals overseas.